SEPTA, I guess, is trying to make it easier for, for you to ride their system. Well, they're going to have a SEPTA key 2.0 to replace that system with things that are easier to use, like our smartphones or your credit cards to pay for it. So uh, we're going to find out how it all works. Let's find out from the man himself, media director Andrew Bush. Hi, Andrew. Good morning. How are you doing? Uh, doing well. So I guess the easiest way to do this would be with your phone. Is that the ultimate goal here? Sure, so with, with your phone, what we're trying to do is move on to the next generation yeah. of fare payment. So the, the key card as it is, is, is working great. You know, the vast majority of our riders use that. Um, and it's been a great upgrade from where we were with tokens and paper transfers. It's time to move on to that next generation, which is obviously going to include smartphones, but then anything that's in your wallet. So any card that you have. Um, and then we know moving forward, this is going to keep changing. You know, there's one okay. thing we learned with the key is that technology grows and we have to be ready for it when it comes. So we're going to start. Uh, this system that we currently have, my kid uses it all the time. It's a little bit clunky. My frustration is I can't buy, I can't just go buy a right. card at every one of the stations. It's just it can be hard to get and sometimes hard to use. What's the plan for the new system? So with the new system, we do want to keep expanding locations where you can get a, a card. So a card's always going to be part of it for people who need it. So we want to make sure that uh, we're well stocked with fair kiosk machines um, and at retail locations. But what you're going to be able to do is also use your phone, um, use a, a credit card or a debit card that you have in your wallet, use a watch, a smartwatch. Oh, that's um, a good one. And then again, you know, yeah, and, and anything, you know, here in uh, May of 2020 or April of 2023, we don't know what's going to come up in five years, what kind of new payment technologies are going to come up. This system is going to be built so that it's it's what's called open architecture, um, and that's going to allow us to quickly adapt to any advancing technologies. Well, how long is this going to take? So it's going to be in phases. So the first thing that people are going to start to see is uh, a little later this year, hopefully by the fall, we're going to start rolling out payment with phones okay. and with cards and with other methods. So that so that's, that's coming. Fast. That's coming very soon. Um, what this system, when we get this contract approved later this year, that's going to give us more, it really is going to be more on the back end so that, so that we're ready to change the system, to add new features as we move along. So people can look for new options to be added. You know, really within a few months, we're going to start testing those out and making sure they're up and running, everything's going smoothly, uh, and then we'll go from there. And again, it's, it's about being ready for whatever comes down the road uh, you know, for the next decade or so. Are other cities doing this ahead of us uh, that maybe we could model after them? Sure. So there, there are other cities that are that are doing payments with smartphones um, and with, again, with credit cards, anything in your wallet. Uh, New York has some of that. Boston has some of that. So we're looking at them. Uh, we want to be more expansive, though. We yeah. want to be able to, to offer as many options as possible, remove any barriers that people might have uh, at traveling on the system. Okay. Well, it'll be really helpful, particularly, sure. and it'll be easier to could, like coordinate like the regional rail. Like I went to one of the stops here, and I couldn't buy my regional rail pass there. I had to go someplace else in right. order to do it. Like, let's have all of them talk to each other. Right. Yeah. So that, that's the key: seamless travel, and especially now, you know, we're we're really working hard to rebuild our ridership post COVID. So we want to make it as easy as possible for people to ride the yes, system. Please. This also makes it easier for us to uh, to put into place fair incentives, uh, different discounts, sure. free transfers. So, so a lot to look forward to here. Uh, I would suggest having Karen Hep on your committee. <laughs> I like okay. things that make Here's things easier. Yes, things yes. that are easier to use. We love our discounts. Thank you so much, Andrew Bush. We really appreciate it. Thank you.